It is impossible to measure the mind of an enlightened master because he is no mind. And you cannot measure nothingness. You cannot uh, measure the waves of nothingness. Of course, you can measure the effect of meditation. Whether you are meditating or not, your brain releases brain waves. And these brain waves are measure, measured in terms of alpha waves, beta waves. You know, when you are stressed and things, it is beta waves. And then you have gamma waves and so on and so on. Now, anyone, even a non-meditator, a person who is not a spiritual, who is a, a non-master, you train that particular individual into a few breathing methods like basrika or deep breathing. And then you measure the brain wave of such a person. What will happen? The brain wave that the person will uh, release will be the same, you know, as uh, a person who is in deep meditation. Like, for example, the TM, Transcendental Meditation. Many experiments have been carried out, and when scientists refer to meditation, the, 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 the benefits of meditation on, on, on uh, the individual, they refer many times to transcendental meditation. So if my brain waves were to be measured, it would be gamma, alpha, not beta, gamma, alpha, and all this. So what will happen? It wouldn't make big of a difference between those people and myself. So what will happen? It would be like I will be lost in a crowd. So it wouldn't give the desired result. You are the best instrument that can measure my state of enlightenment. How? By your trust, by your meditation, by your receptivity. Many times people, people come to, near to me, even they're meditating uh, far away. They, they, they say, Guruji, we, we felt your presence, the powerful vibration and so on and so on. We could feel that you are in no, nothingness. We sit in front of you and I look at you, we don't see anything. It was only a void. Do you think uh, there's any, any apparatus that can measure?